Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, PaintballProps.com. Today we're going to talk about how to interface a relay board with your infrared learning board that was just based off a recent Kickstarter. First of all, we have to program it. Now there, there's a manual link below as to how to program and test your board. We're actually going to be using the version 1 and version 2, but we'll start with the version 1 and connect to the relay board. We're also going to talk about how to interface uh, a separate power supply for your relay board in case you want to uh, have uh, lots of relays on for long periods of time. First thing we want to do is program our board. I've got a jumper on LED enable. Again, the uh, manual is linked below the video manual. And I've got a jumper on PG. Now, PG means program. No other jumpers are connected. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to program in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, for the output codes and say channel minus for our output reset. So I'll plug it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and channel negative, channel minus. So it's programmed. All is done. I'm going to remove this and now we're going to reset the jumpers. Now I've got jumpers on the A slot, the B slot, and the LED enable. We're going to test it now. This is going to put us in, in uh, active low output mode, so when I power it on, all of the LEDs should light up. All of the output should go high. Good, so let's test it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I'll reset all the outputs by pressing channel minus. Great, so it works. So now I'm going to remove power. And now we're going to make some connections to our relay board. From this perspective, the pins, you might not be able to read them, I'm going to read them out from left to right on the learning board, is in for indicator, which is uh, relative to this indicator LED, uh, 9876543210, and then VCC, which is a regulator 5 volts, and GND, which is ground. We're going to need for this first setup, we're going to need VCC, ground, and uh, eight of the outputs. So I'm going to output, use output 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to connect to the eight different channels on the relay board. On the relay board there's uh, 10 pins, VCC, so we need 5 volts there. In 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or sorry, 8. In 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and GND for ground. So what we need to do first is we need to connect ground from our relay board, GND, to the GND pin on the relay board. We need to then connect VCC from our uh, learning board, which is 5 volts, to the VCC pin on the uh, relay board. After that, we're going to connect output 0 to in 1, output 2, or output 1 to in 2, output 2 to in 3, output 3 to in 4, output 4 to in 5, output 5 to in 6, uh, output 6 to in 7, and output 7 to in 8. So I'm all hooked up. I'm going to power it up. All the relays turned on for a second until the, all of the outputs from the uh, learning board went high. And so what I can do now is I can remove to save power the LED enable which turned out all the LEDs. Uh, but just to show you beforehand, I'm going to press 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, CH minus to reset all of the outputs. Now to save power again, remove the LED enable jumper still performs the same way. Three, four, five, six, seven. However, oh, uh, CH minus. Reset the outputs. However, very important, the regulator here is going to get really, really hot if you have more than uh, two or three relays on for any uh, for for a long period of time. And this is why this board can handle it uh, to a degree. You can have all relays on for a very short period of time, but then the regulator is going to get extremely hot. So only two or three relays on for uh, any long duration of time. Now, what if you want to have all eight relays on for a long period of time? What we need to do then is disconnect the VCC pin from the learning board and the relay board and uh, and connect a, a 5 volt uh, wall adapter or a 5 volt uh, an external 5 volt power supply that will power this board externally but take signals from the learning board and I'm going to show you how to do that now and this will apply for both the version 1 and version 2 learning board the version 2 learning board uh, can't handle even driving one relay for more than a couple seconds so if you're going to use a relay board with the version 2 you're going to need an external power supply so let's talk about how that works so this is the infrared board, the relay board, an external 5 volt 
uh, DC one amp adapter, so a wall adapter, 120 volt or 240 volt to 5 volts DC one amp, and of course your main power supply to power the board, which is 9 volt at one amp. So this is uh, say a wall adapter. The wall adapter comes with uh, comes with the uh, some reward tiers in the Kickstarter for the IR learning board. In any case, getting back to it, this may look a little bit complicated, but it's really not. So what you would do is before you connected your power supplies to to the wall. Uh, what you would do is you'd connect the signal lines. So let's say we have output 0 to 7 programmed with certain buttons on our infrared controller, remote control. We connect those, as I say, 0 to 7 outputs, uh, output 0 to 7 to uh, in 1 through 8. Now, we don't connect VCC from the IR learning board to the relay board. Instead, what we do is we connect ground, the GND pin from our IR learning board, to the GND pin on the relay board, and as well we connect the negative from our external 5 volt power supply uh, in parallel with it. So we've got three connections here, ground to ground to the negative of the wall adapter. Now before you actually use this, say wall, let's say wall adapter, you want to actually test the outputs unconnected, unloaded, to make sure that it's actually uh, 5 volts and not 7 volts, because sometimes these power supplies can be pretty uh, finicky. You want to be very sure that what you're getting is 5 volts out. Then what you do is you connect the 5 volt out, the positive 5 volt out from your uh, 5 volt wall adapter to the VCC pin on the relay board. So this bad boy is supplying power to the relay board, but because all the grounds are connected, we can send signals from our infrared uh, learning board to the relay board. In this case, because the 9 volt adapter to the power of the relay board is connected to the ground of the relay board, it's connected to the ground here, here and here after you've made those connections. So after you've done that, you place the jumpers on the A and B uh, headers on the IR learning board. If it's programmed, you've made all your connections right, you're ready to go. What I've got here is a 120 volt AC to 5 volt to 5 volts DC at 1 amp. It's an adapter. Uh, make sure that depending on what country code you're in, you're using the right in input. In uh, some countries it's 240 volts AC at 50 hertz. Uh, in Canada, 120 volts AC at 60 hertz. So now what we want to do is we want to plug it in, strip off the uh, insulation at the end, and test to see which is the positive output. So strip the leads. We have to find out which is positive and which is negative because uh, both lead, both of the wires are black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my multimeter and put the positive to one side and the negative to the other. It reads negative 5.4 volts. So this uh, adapter is actually rated for 5 volts, but it's got an offset of uh, of four, 414 milli millivolts uh, unloaded. So when it is loaded, it'll probably drop slightly. But as you can see, there's a negative, and that means because we, that's because we've got the polarity reversed. So if I take the black lead, the negative lead, connect to the other pin, and the red lead <coughs> to this wire, we see 5.414 volts, which means that this wire is the positive, this wire is the negative. So mark off your positive with an indicator of some kind, maybe a piece of tape. So what I've done here is connect a single uh, female uh, connector to the positive and two for the negatives. I'm going to connect one negative to the learning board, one to the uh, to the ground pin G and D, and one, the other to the learning board or the relay board G and D pin. And I'll connect this this positive to the VCC pin on the uh, on the relay board. I haven't insulated the wires coming from the 5 volt adapter, but you should with electrical tape or shrink wrap. In any case, I'm going to plug in my first my uh, power supply for the learning board. And right now, no power is going to the relay board. Next, I'm going to plug in the 5 volt adapter to the relay board. And uh, so now what I can do is I can take the remote and the relay board is being powered by the uh, by the 5 volt adapter. So now let's just quickly talk about the version 2. The wiring is the exact same for the version 2 but there's still a couple things to discuss. I've made the exact same connection on the version 2. Uh, I've got all the grounds connected, ground from uh, from the 5 volt adapter to GND on the relay board to GND on the version 2. I've got out 0 through 7 connected to in 1 through 8 on the relay board and I've got my own the 9 volt adapter connected to the version 2 uh, I've got my enable jumper connected that allows power to travel through the regulator to power the 
uh, chip. And lastly, I've got 5 volts from our uh, adapter plugged into the VCC pin. Now, I've already programmed 0 through 9 on this, so I'm going to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'll press uh, reset all outputs. There we go. So that's how you do it. This 9 volt adapter and the regulator, nothing from this board is powering the relay board. The relay board is being powered externally uh, from the 5 volt adapter, but it's receiving signal power. Uh, it's being driven by the IR learning board. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.